Medication Awareness, page one. Welcome to the Medication Awareness module. The purpose of this module is to apply the five health-related responsibilities and support professional to make sure the effects of medication are observed, documented, and reported accurately, and appropriate actions are taken when people react to medications. After completing the Medication Awareness module, participants will be able to list and describe the three possible effects of medication, list and describe the three possible effects of drug interactions, describe the types of information that must accompany individuals when they visit the doctor, and identify your agency's policy for acquiring this information. List four items of information that must be obtained from a physician when a new medication is ordered. Determine whether a physician's and a pharmacist's label agree. Medication Awareness, page 4. Sometimes a person will be receiving more than one type of medication at the same time. Every drug has the potential to react with another drug and produce undesired side effects. When drugs react with another to produce unwanted side effects, this is called a drug interaction. The effects of one or more of the drugs are increased. For example, if drowsiness occurs when one of the drugs is taken, a person may become very sluggish and unresponsive when taking this drug with another drug. The effects of one or more of the drugs are decreased. For example, if a drug's desired effect is to reduce swelling, the swelling may ha show little or no change. When two or more drugs are taken together, totally, totally new and sometimes undesired effects may occur. For example, a rash develops when a person adds a new drug to his existing medications. Remember, every time a new drug is added to a person's existing prescription, there is an increased likelihood that that drug interactions will occur. It's important, important to remember that not everyone will react the same way to medications. Medication Awareness, page 5. Drug Effects and the Interactions. Directions. Read each definition below, then write the, the correct term in the blank provided. Desired effects. Unwanted side effects. No effects. Drug potentiation. Drug antagonism. No effects. Number 1. When the effects of one or more of the drugs being taken has been decreased. Number two, the drug has done what it was meant to do. Number three, no change takes place after the allotted time for a drug to take effect. Number four, 
The effects of one or more of the drugs being taken is increased. Number five, when a drug has a side effect that is not desired. Number six, when two or more drugs are taken together, resulting in new and sometimes undesired effects. Medication Awareness, page six. If you are responsible for sending a person to see a physician, you need to make sure certain information is provided to the doctor so that she can make the best decision for that person's treatment. The chart below can help you track of information that you will need to take with a person to the physician. Medical fact sheets, history of drug allergies, current medications, medical condition not under treatment, written observations of recent changes. Medical fact sheet. When a person sees a physician for the first time, the physician needs a comprehensive fact sheet to get the idea of the person's history. Your agency will probably have its own form or set of forms containing historical information on each person. History of drug allergies. This may be contained on the medical fact sheet. If not, make sure this information is documented separately. Current medication and purpose. A list of medications that the person is currently taking should be provided to the physician. You should also provide an explanation of each medication, what is the desired effect on the person. Be sure to include all drugs, including over-the-counter drugs, vitamins, and herbal remedies. Current medical dental conditions that not under treatment. Some people may have medical problems that are not currently being treated. For example, a dentist would need to know a person is taking dilantin, which would explain why her gums are puffy and bleeding. However, the physician would need to know the person is pregnant so she doesn't prescribe a medication on or treatment that would affect the pregnancy.
Okay, guys, we did it. That's our medication management training for today. It looks as if we've gotten some great information that we can use to manage our medication. Remember that when we started this video, I told you that medication management is extremely important. It's unique to every person, meaning that it is person-centered. Everyone must take time and set goals in reference to their medication management. Your life, your health depends upon it. So let's take this training seriously. There will be a medication management number two. Let's get ready, Rayfield. We are COVID free. We are strong and we are excited about caring for ourselves. Let's have a great day.